hello all, ladies and gentlemen, or human beings of all height and what weight. And um, welcome to the Arctic War Corner reviews. I am Mr. Penguin, and um, my assignment today has been given to me by my superiors to explore the human weaknesses because when we take over the world, we want to know everything about you humans and what better way there is to explore this weakness than take a look at your military strength in form of movies and games and this is my first assignment and this game called is Vietnam War Ho Chi Minh Trail and I shall get into it right now away. two times crashed in a row oh here we go I'm in a game oh it looks like um, Early Operation Blackboard graphics here. That, that's our kitty. Alright, I'm being shot at. Well, uh, well. I better get the movie. Wait, wait, wait a second. Um, game? I'm moving. I'm moving. Um, maybe it's tickets. I roll keys. Nope. Uh, I'm being shot at. I want to go in the cover. Can I duck? Can I... Um... Folks, I think my keyboard is broken. Um... A small break here. I'm gonna switch my keyboard. Okay, back folks here with a new keyboard. And uh, just in case, I'm gonna see the setup. Okay, I have apparently a ton of weapons. Uh, different... Uh, super things. Uh, Sniper mode, last used weapon, um, weapon fire, left button, okay, pause, okay, um, movement controls. Um, oh, look at that, I didn't th think this game would have this much of setups. Well, let's put um, some options, I guess. That that's gonna help much. I gotta admit, this music is kind of catchy here. Just listen to it. Yeah, that's what I call music. So there are definitely bonus points here. Uh, but um, there seems to be a problem here. I cannot move in this game anywhere. And yes, I have tried it. Many different ways, different keyboards, different uh, keypads, uh, controllers, joystick, nothing works. You cannot move. That is the entire concept of this game. You stay still and get shot at and die. Now, I don't know what game does that, other than flash games in some place like armor games or something like that, but uh, oh well. Uh, maybe this uh, backstory here will tell me something, so I'll be right back and um, I'll have the okay, backstory here. Okay, here is the backstory. Now, uh, it is the year 1970, the flames of war, and when I'm turn on the year after French to it, troops are dealt a crushing defeat. American troops sent in the harsh terrain and then struggle find themselves involved in a current of warfare with a cunning enemy that uses the young jungle to its advantage. The Ho Chi Minh Trail, an enemy transport group sneaking through thousands of miles of dense foliage, somehow endures the American saturation pumping campaign, and the men and armaments continue to reach certain forces down this vital supply line. Okay. Me, part of a special forces commando team with the 101st Airborne, Hey, look, there with the airborne, like me. Uh, wow. Follow orders to go behind the enemy lines on 
the damage assessment performance is in confusion of an enemy ambush, you are separated from the crew. There you find yourself in a living hell, encircled and outnumbered by the enemy. But commanders back at the base order you to fall down at all costs. So that is why I cannot move one inch. Otherwise the commanders are gonna get pissed off at me. And be like, you moved, you have a, you <laughs> left your pose, you are fired. <laughs> oh my god, that's the only explanation, really? And be the last one to evacuate, but um, you're not entirely alone. Boys of the Artillery Brigade and the Fighter Squadrons are right behind you with the devastating ground and air support. Your temporary holdout needs UH-1 helicopters to move in and feed you ammo. You need... That you need. Okay, so what's your bags? Protect the life plan of yours. And Try to stay alive until you can get out of this hellhole. Good luck, soldier. Okay, okay, it, it makes sense. And uh, here's a list of all of these weapons. But okay, okay. At least uh, now my game crashed here like two times in a row. But so let's cut the get to play some goddamn Vietnam War. Okay, so. Yep. Um, you might be asking yourself here, Mr. Penguin, is this all of the game? Like, we already seen this. And the answer to that question is yes. This is all of the game. All of it. You're seeing it right now. Right now. This is all of it. You snipe Vietnam's. Well, Viet Cong or whatever you wanna call them. They, they just rush at you like morons, not taking any cover. And um, I can shoot through anything because apparently the American Airborne is using weapons that apparently has unlimited ammo. No, no, no. Look at that, I do have ammo. 461, wow! And apparently I do not need to reload. And... Yup. This is it. This is it. You keep shooting them. The game never changes its tone. Like... The next level is just this all over again, but just a different palette. And yes, I have completed this game once. And uh... There's nothing to it. There's like, like, nothing to it. Yeah, I accidentally call a helicopter here. But yeah, I'm just gonna complete this level here and show you that this is it. This is literally it. I got nothing to say. You just keep shooting. Sure, the game gets harder because, like, the screen is gonna be all over like <laughs> full of enemies but uh, that's the thing they, they cannot hit you their shooting is irrelevant you can just stay here completely still well you have to stay still because you have orders apparently not to even move an inch and uh yep they just keep rushing at me and, um, yep, uh, of course I do have different weapons, like a pistol, a uh, mortar that kills a lot of people, a uh, minigun, and a uh, rocket launcher that's good on destroying tanks later on. Uh, then I have the special abilities that I will show you later. 
But yeah, I I'll let it this one soldier here to show you that they're completely useless. Wait a second. That, that, wait, what is that sound? Do you hear it? Oh, it's playing. I think I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god, my character speaks. Wow. Wasn't expecting that at all. But yeah. And then uh, another airplane here. Coming at me. Let's shoot it down. This is realistic. You know, if this is a, If the American army is like this in real life, I think us as penguins, we need to reconsider this attack because you have like these guys that are invincible and they don't have to reload their guns and uh yeah but yeah now, now let's complete this level here okay there we go i think um game looks like you okay there we go there we go level one there see it's the exact same thing but the let's day <laughs> there's no daylight Oh. There ain't nothing to this now, game. Here is level three. It's raining. And yes, I did skip over all of them. Because it was all the same thing. And it's the same thing. Here's level 4 And um, the only major difference here is they have 16 rocket plant RPG troopers Now, here is level 5 uh, Like Okay It's just nice now you can even see the small little story up there on the left. But yeah, that's it for level 5. Now, I wanted to show this the artillery here. We need artillery support over here. Oh, Roger, get down and take cover. Explosions, the hill, and here's the air. That's a barbecue is coming in hot. Drop. It's kind of Anyways, here's 6 KG where I have to apparently protect the stopper, so at least they switch the thing, but it's light here. Now, here is stage 7. Delta-1 calling Bravo-3. I need immediate artillery support over here. Oh, Roger. Get down and take cover. Delta-1 calling grenade pop drop. Over. There ain't nothing to say. Roger that, Delta-1. Barbecue is incoming and hot. This time I have to destroy vehicles. Yay. So there I go. Now look at that. It's the first tank all the way over there. Oh, another one fights the dust. And it's gone. That was exciting. Oh, by the way, we are staying in the attack and it's something that happened. Now, here's level 8. And, uh, right, it's Delta the same one, thing. Delta 1 calling Bravo 3. I need immediate artillery support over here. Oh, Roger, get down and take cover. Now, here's my first death scene in 8 levels in an... Uh, I think I had enough. I had enough of this game. It's just... dull. It's boring. There's nothing to it. That's it. 
that is it. Now, now, I am annoyed, bored out of my mind, and I still haven't finished this review yet. So, here we go. Give us score to this boring piece of shit, Mr. Penguin. Okay then, I'll give you a score. It's gonna be 2 out of 10. <laughs> it's a boring game. <laughs> now, the things I've no like, keep in mind about this game is that it's boring. These are the bad things it's boring, it's glitchy, it's buggy. The graphics don't make sense. Like. Okay, it's it was made in 2003, so I won't blame it on that. But I seen better games like Operation Flashpoint. I think that was made in like 2002, and it looks way better, and it's like plays better. Now, the good things about this game, it's the music is. Awesome. It's the only thing that's gonna keep me in moment of this game. Like the other thing about this game that is good is the special abilities for the first few times. Like that napalm strike was awesome. I enjoyed it. And um, now, uh, yep, that's about it. Got nothing else really to say. No nothing other. Nothing. I I guess this game was cheap. I got it for one penguin coin. But yes, uh, for last notes of this review, um, this was the Arctic Wars Corner reviews. I am Mr. Penguin. Please press subscribe. Press like. Comment on the videos. May maybe I can comment back. And um, next time I'll see you. I might have another game. I might have a movie that I get to explore. I have to see what my superiors say. But um, but for now, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>